These are the top 10 terrifying future inventions predicted by AI. So I'm going to start off with the, the most obvious one, and uh, that's AI itself. AI is on everyone's mind right now, and uh, it's growing in intelligence far faster than it became a talked about thing all of a sudden in the public consciousness. Like, what was it, like six months ago, we started seeing AI generated art, and now it's completely changed the way we're looking at art. It, like, countless jobs are in threat of being completely replaced by AI, graphic design, writing. People are generating their own AI commercials right now and like they look pretty janky right now but this technology is very new all things considered and uh, it's only going to get better so we have a lot of decisions to make about how far we're gonna let this go I remember when I first started seeing these videos of AI generated images of such and such if it were an 80s movie that kind of thing or just creating visual art I was just kind of like uh, this is gonna be a problem I just don't see how it can be good for us I'm very pessimistic when it comes to AI AI. Some people are very positive about it, like, ah, oh, it's just another tool, use it. And I don't know, I just don't agree. I've experimented with it a little bit, but I, I think at the rate it's going, it's gonna put a lot of people out of work. There's a very real possibility that one day you'll be able to just feed in a couple prompts into a computer and it'll just generate a movie for you, starring whoever you want, in whatever style you want. And I just think that kind of sucks. Part of what makes film great is seeing the world through someone else's eyes. And with this theory, you aren't seeing anyone else's skillfully crafted personal vision anymore. It's just a computer spitting out something entirely targeted at you. Uh, and where's the discovery in that, you know? Number nine, advanced VR. Now, out of everything on this list, VR is probably the most positive thing for me. It just looks fun. I haven't tried it yet. I want to. And uh, it's a cool idea that it could become advanced enough that we could, you know, put on a pair of goggles and explore Middle Earth and it just looks like the real thing. Kind of cool, but what we don't want is a Ready Player One situation where people are just almost fully dependent on it as an escape from the harsh reality of the world. That uh, is a sad possibility. Ideally, we want lives that we're excited about living, interacting and forming connections with people face to face. And that's not to say it can't form solid relationships over the internet. You totally can. And it's cool how much smaller the world has become in that way. We can talk to people from the other side of the world in real time uh, and that's beautiful but we don't want to become so detached from reality that we spend all of our time hanging out with Captain Picard on the Enterprise instead of uh, taking our kid to the park or something keep our priorities straight next up we have brain computers the idea of human beings becoming intertwined with technology is nothing new we're already starting to see it happen today having our brains hooked up to the internet and becoming these advanced biomechanical beings isn't just science fiction anymore there are technologies being developed that could make this very possible, but with all the positives that could come with it, there are potentially devastating consequences. Hacking is something that is very pervasive today, with some hackers being skilled enough to retrieve and alter pretty important information. So now picture your brain connected to the internet with your individual thoughts, memories, or even your ideas connected to something similar to like the cloud, right? And then it gets hacked. Memories could be altered or just erased altogether together and just the idea of someone hacking into your brain reading your thoughts it sounds pretty nutty but a ghost in the shell situation is becoming more and more of a possibility as technology like this continues to develop Next on the list, we have bioweapons. Bioweapons have been used in the past, and history has shown just how horrific and devastating weapons like this can be. We've seen it in warfare. There have been bio attacks used by fanatical cult members like Aum Shinrikyo in the Tokyo subway system back in 1995. I mean, this one's pretty simple. There is a very real possibility that a super weapon could be developed that will have an absolutely catastrophic effect on not just one part of the world, but on the entire world. Unlike more traditional weaponry that you can see and actively fight and protect yourself against, bio-warfare is much more insidious. I think the best way to throw society into complete chaos is by unleashing some deadly poison that goes completely unseen until of course, it's too late. At our sixth spot, we have gray goo. Uh, gray goo refers to a scenario where self-replicating nanobots designed to perform specific tasks at the molecular level get out of control and start consuming all matter around them to create more copies of themselves. The idea is that this rapid and uncontrollable replication could result in the obliteration of natural ecosystems and even 
human life. If these nanobots were to like run amok, they could rapidly spread and deplete essential resources, leading to ecological collapse and the extinction of life as we know it. The rapid replication of nanobots could disrupt ecosystems, displace natural organisms, and threaten food chains. These nanobots could also impact infrastructure and technological systems, causing just widespread chaos and disruption in society. This potential threat arises from the nanobots' ability to multiply exponentially, leading to an irreversible, catastrophic chain reaction. Now, this doomsday scenario is completely theoretical, but it's a pretty terrifying idea. Next up, we have superbugs. As human beings have continued to evolve, we've gotten better and better at staying alive and warding off sickness. Uh, and that's great. There are tons of illnesses that are mostly benign now, but in the past were much more of a threat to our safety. However, as medication and antibiotics continue to advance, there is a fear that a certain virus could do the same, developing it into a superbug that could spread across the planet before we're able to develop an effective antibiotic. Because as smart and resilient as human beings can be, Nature has a way of overcoming too. And viruses have been known to develop, adapting to antibiotics in order to become better at axing us. So yeah, not a fun idea to think about. None of these ideas really are, but if a deadly virus does happen to show up again, hopefully we'll be more prepared at preventing it from spreading after the whole 2020 situation. Maybe that was like our dry run for something far worse, or everything will just be all right. We don't ever have to worry about it again. Number four, 3D printed weapons. Uh, 3D printing is already a thing. It's not like everyone has a 3D printer in their homes uh, yet, but I could see that becoming a thing. We also have 3D printed weapons already. Just recently, there was a raid on a factory in London that was 3D printing gun components. So as 3D printing technology becomes more affordable and like commonplace, we could see stuff like that happening a lot more with people being able to 3D print anything they want, whenever they want. And it's not hard to see how that could go very bad, very quickly. These weapons would be almost impossible to trace. No serial numbers, no regulations or background checks. I, I think you get the point. Next up, we have advancements in deep fake technology. So I remember when deep fakes first started coming out and once again, I was like, yeah, this is not gonna be good for anybody. The amount of bad that deep faking can be used for far outweighs the good. I guess you could say that about a lot of inventions. Things can always be used for harm or good, depending on who's using it. But with technology like this, it's hard to see how it can be regulated because the whole point with deep faking is that it's supposed to look indistinguishable from reality. And we're getting to a point where some of it is starting to look pretty uncanny. So imagine you have deep faking starting to be used in politics. Some video comes out of a politician saying or doing something nefarious, except they didn't actually do it. Same thing can happen with celebrities or even everyday people. We, we could have people being punished for crimes that they never committed or saying awful things they never actually said and we'll have no way of deciphering between what's real and what's not. And let's look at the reverse side of that. What if someone is caught on video saying or doing something that they actually did, but with the presence of advanced deep fake technology, people don't really take it seriously with the lines between fact and fiction blurred beyond repair. And at second place, we have advanced surveillance. We're already under more surveillance than we ever have been in history. There are cameras almost everywhere. It seems like our phones are able to listen in on every conversation we have. Our internet browsing is monitored. Big Brother is watching you. It's not a conspiratorial thing to say anymore. It just is what it is. And that's not even to mention that everyone walks around with like video cameras in their pockets these days. So how is any honest, hardworking thief supposed to rob their local gas station and get away with it. It's, it's a travesty. But in all seriousness, uh, government surveillance continues to become more and more pervasive with every passing day. And this could potentially reach a point where we're just being monitored 24 seven. And that's, uh, and I don't need Google and the government being able to monitor and track my every movement. That's uh, just too much power. Finally though, we have robots. Now this point is pretty similar to what I was saying with AI earlier. Yes, like there's the classic Terminator, Skynet, or like Matrix idea of robots becoming uh, so advanced that they pose a physical threat to humanity. But what about something that 
we're already starting to see happen. Human beings being replaced by robots in the workforce. Cashiers are almost a thing in the past now. I like go into most grocery stores and there's a self checkout area. We have robots that have replaced factory workers. There's even robots that flip burgers now. The amount of jobs available to like everyday people it just continues to dwindle as AI and robotics become more and more advanced and uh, that is incredibly scary. So robots like hunting us down and eliminating us is a terrifying idea but being replaced having to scavenge for work because even more competitive job market like that is very real. That's something that we are watching happen now. If more regulations uh, aren't put in place, things can end up going very badly for us in the near future.